I decided to become a designer. It was just the natural path for me. It all started when I was about five years old. I loved drawing and painting and any kind of art. There was a particular situation in kindergarten, I remember, where the entire class was working on a bulletin board to promote the upcoming book fair. And all the other kids gave up after about 10 minutes. And I single-handedly finished that entire book bulletin board. My, my teacher and my mother were so proud of me. Going into a creative field just seemed like a natural course. I thought about fashion design, I thought about architecture, and finally landed on graphic design. I just gravitated to anything craft related. I love needle arts, I crocheted, I knitted, I embroidered, I did weaving. I came from a long line of creative women. My grandmother on my dad's side sewed, sewed clothes and she was a fine art painter. And on my mother's side, my great grandmother was a quilter. I learned to sew my own clothes as a tween. And by age 13, I was already an advanced seamstress, and I literally designed my own clothes, and I would stay up all weekend to sew an outfit just so I could wear it to school on Monday. I was absolutely obsessed. I studied graphic design at the University of Arts in Philadelphia. I earned a Bachelor's of Fine Arts degree, and I also won the award for the most outstanding student of the graduating class. I had job opportunities in New York, just as many of my schoolmates, but I decided to head to California. I had fallen in love with Southern California as a teenager after making several trips to Los Angeles to visit family. So I took a risk and headed in the opposite, to the opposite coast. I spent 12 years with Sussman Prasia, first starting as a junior designer and working my way up to head creative director eventually overseeing my own department of 15 designers. So we worked on projects globally, all over the USA, all over Europe, Asia. I learned design as an entire holistic process. It wasn't just about a logo or a, a single item. It was really the entire space and the entire experience. I even worked on citywide signage programs for the city of Santa Monica, the city of Philadelphia, and even Disney World, which is bigger than San Francisco. I started my own graphic design agency, Diva Communications, offering full service graphic design services. I modeled it very similarly to Sussman Prasia, but I also added some of the new mediums, digital design, websites, and advertising, copywriting, marketing plans, style guides, and more. After designing every type of project for hundreds of clients, I craved to have my own product line where I could control the look, not dictated by clients' needs or tastes. I started with a greeting card line in 2006 called Vita Valencia. My main product was a pop-up card that was for gift cards. So it would be like, say, a birthday card, and it held a gift card. I was featured on the cover of Greetings Etc. magazine as one of the top 25 most innovative products of 2007. So I was actually manufacturing the cards overseas and filling orders from my own warehouse. By the second, second year, I got tired of the fulfillment process, packing boxes, processing UPS labels and invoices. It simply wasn't creative. I realized it wasn't for me. So I licensed the entire card line to a larger company to handle all the distribution. And that card line is still actively selling today, six years later. I changed direction then to licensing based on this advice from other artists. So by 2008, I had already obtained my first licensing deal for gift bags and social stationery. From there, I grew my business to 32 licensing deals across many product categories, greeting cards, personalized stationery, fabric, ceramics, accessories such as cell phone cases, purses, and jewelry. By 2013, I partnered with my agent, the brand liaison, to expand the breadth of licensed product and to build a full lifestyle brand. Since then, together we've added bath and body products, cosmetics, eyewear, bedding, pajamas, and with many more projects in the works. 
So rather than just being a surface designer now, it's built into a much bigger brand.